What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at Spiral Mountain, built with Halo Infinite's Forge Mode. Now, I know what you're thinking. Spiral Mountain isn't exactly the best designed map for an FPS game, and you'd be right. It's not a super great layout for that, but Banjo-Kazooie holds a special place in my heart, and I think it's a lot of fun to drive a Warthog through Banjo's old stomping grounds. For those of you unfamiliar, Spiral Mountain is a level from the Nintendo 64 game Banjo-Kazooie. I've tried to build a fun recreation of this map in a Halo game for as long as Halo has existed. I ported Spiral Mountain to Halo 1's Custom Edition back in the day, as well as I tried building Spiral Mountain in Halo 5's Forge Mode over seven years ago. I even tried making Spiral Mountain into a skate park via Thug Pro one weekend. I learned a lot from those attempts, and with the new improved Forge Mode, I was able to finally build something that I'm proud of. Spiral Mountain is best played as either King of the Hill, Oddball, or my favorite, Neutral Flag CTF. Neutral Flag is similar to One Flag, but instead of one team defending and the other attacking, there is one neutral flag that spawns on top of the Spiral Mountain that both teams fight to take to their capture point. So if you make the enemy drop the flag near their base, you can then scoop it up and take it back to your base instead of needing to sit on the flag and wait for it to return. It goes pretty quick on a small map like this, but I think it's a good time and there's a lot of fun to be had with the grapple hook and the repulsor to help you get around. I did my best to make this as true to the original art's layout and dimensions as possible, but I have taken some small liberties to try to help this map flow slightly better. There's a rock to jump up to the garden from Banjo's yard, which is inspired by Banjo-Tooie's iteration of this environment. There's a two-way teleporter to take you from Banjo's house to the waterfall cave, and there's also a one-way teleporter from Grunty's mouth to the top of her hat. Be quick though, you can't stay up there very long. Lastly, the water around Spiral Mountain is a little bit more shallow than in the N64 game to help players be able to clamber out of the water so that they're not stuck down there for too long. The map is compatible with King of the Hill, Capture the Flag, Neutral Flag CTF, Oddball, and of course, Slayer and Team Slayer. I really hope you'll give it a shot or at least just appreciate the work that went into building this thing. I've been working on it on and off since Forge launched, and with the Season 4 update adding water and fixing a bunch of stuff with Forge, I was finally able to wrap this thing up. If you want to try this map out, the link to bookmark it is in the description below. Bookmark the map and have a good time in your next customs night with friends. Either way, thank you for watching.